50th anniversary of the United States Dance Championships 2021. This year is truly grand and we want to show you as much as possible. It's an exciting atmosphere, all the couples are ready and I'm, I'm really expecting a fantastic evening. I'm excited about it, so let's go! Let's go guys and let's see what was happening here in the last couple of days. the most exciting part, the quarter-final of the United States National Professional International Latin Championships.
your next dance is for a while. Please.
and gentlemen, we just finished the quarterfinal round of the United States Professional Latin Championships. And I'm here with these two, so I want to get some insights about how was it for you? Was the first round? Give me some feeling from the floor today. It's very exciting to be back, especially after this whole year of uncertainty. So we're so happy to be able to compete in such a big, important competition and uh, just share something that we worked so hard together for. Um, she nailed it. Uh, the only thing I could say is that we're just enjoying every moment. We appreciate the chances that we have right now and uh, we're not taking that for granted. And um, it felt uh, good just as long as we keep that kind of uh, pace of uh, enjoyment up, I think everybody, everything's going to be fine. Yeah, we're here to create some beautiful memories. That's the most important thing for us. So I know you live and you work in Brooklyn. And uh, how is your daily life like with preparations and what is important to you, especially for a younger generation to be an example for or to lead towards the future? What is that for you that you want to give to the dance world? I think it's important to always, even when you get older and you learn a lot, to find the essence of who you were as a kid, why you started to dance, and no matter how hard it is, to always try to find that that purpose why you started, for me personally. Uh, I mean, what is our daily routine, like as uh, a work? Uh, we would have a personal trainer, and then we would practice, and then we would start teaching. Uh, obviously, a little bit of eating in between of that. Uh, yeah, then after work, sometimes we put in one more practice, depends on the day, depends on uh, what's uh, the next day and so we have usually the same kind of routine except Saturday, Sunday. I wanted to say we yeah. should pay rent to the studio because we live there more than at home. <laughs> that's true, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I guess that's for all our stances, you know, we all heard at some point, well, shouldn't we have put up a bed in the dance studio rather than home? I, I guess that we all lived through that period. Sometimes we're like, do we even have to leave? Maybe we should just set up on the couch over here. The other thing I would say for the young generation is to persevere, keep going when it's going rough. That's when um, you know it's only going to get sweeter. So the only thing I was, would say is just keep going. It even doesn't matter what journey is going at that time for you right now. It could be very possible that it could change in the different direction if you believe. Yeah. yeah. And who made your beautiful, gorgeous dress? So tonight I'm for the first time with Michael Chen, uh, trying out a new designer and I'm super happy with it and I hope everybody likes it too. Oh, I love it. It's Thank absolutely you. gorgeous. So I know you want to get ready for your next round, so I won't keep you any longer. Thank you so much for spending some time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate Bye, it. And good luck. Bye, guys. Thank you. Well, Thank you, guys. have another couple here with me. How did you feel on the floor tonight? It was very cool and interesting. This year the atmosphere is something special. We, it's our second United States Championship. We're second time here and this time I think we enjoyed even better than previous year. Well, of course. Hi everyone. Um, I'm really excited to be here after, you know, all the year and a half we had before. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of interesting time. Uh, I would say we learned a lot. Uh, as well as we, you know, experienced a lot of different feelings during this quarantine. Uh, but, I, but I'm glad to be here. It's, it's really nice to see people uh, dance together. It's, it's an amazing feeling. So I'm, I'm really enjoyed. So for tonight, what is your big goal that you have for yourself? I don't necessarily mean result-wise. I mean for your dancing per se. What did you come here to do or to show to the world or the United States? From my side, I want to show myself from another side because while well, the COVID, I fought through the all different stages, <laughs> give up, hope for the best, find myself in a different direction, which was is good. I had a little bit more time for myself to learn about myself a little bit more because usually you rush one competition another, so you have no real time to settle and to answer your questions, how you want to look like. So tonight, I don't want to really think about the results. Of course, it's important, that's why we're dancing, but for me, I want to dance a different way. I want to inspire people to going for the lessons to dance. I want the judges also to be enjoying because they're doing hard work and I want them to enjoy watching us dancing. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you know, uh, I'm not gonna say results is not important. 
it is. Uh, otherwise, we would not compete probably. Uh, but for me, the most important to really enjoy uh, and do my best today with my beautiful partner. And I would like to enjoy this time, you know, uh, because there is so many things under dancing, uh, and you think you have a lot of thoughts. You're spending a lot of time in in the ballroom trying to nail everything and practicing and make yourself better. So then you ask yourself a question. Um, when would be the time that you're gonna really enjoy what you're doing? And at the end of the day, I, you really want to be unique and you really want to be special. And I would love to, again, I hope I'm gonna be successful today in that, uh, to show my best side, to show her best side, and really enjoy ourselves on the floor. And I hope people are gonna get it and they will enjoy watching us. So this is my goal for tonight. Well, that's a beautiful goal to have. So I wish you all the best and good luck for your rounds coming up. And I hope we see you later. Good luck to you and thanks for spending time with Thank me here. You. Thank you. Thank you. So I just wanted to get a little insight about how it's out there and how they felt on the floor. How was it? Uh, so I think it was good, pretty good for me. <laughs> For you. Actually, it's pretty good because first we have a parade. Yes. Guys, it this was, was a parade. Really cool, you know? <laughs> Second one, we go all on and then we stay on the floor so we can have a chance, you know, to try right away yeah. and then go on, okay, spot the good, you know, like good spot on the floor and then, okay, I'm gonna go then dance there right away. So actually, it was pretty good. For beginning, nice. Yeah. Wonderful, amazing audience, huge floor, oh, yeah. lovely music, everything. I love, I, I like the lights. So really cool lights around in the ballroom. So really, it's nice to dance here, you know. Exactly. And I'm watching you for quite a while when you're dancing already, and you always bring a lot of joy and a lot of happiness to the dance floor. It's always fun to watch, and it's always inspiring and energetic. How do you get there? Because I'm sure, you know, like everybody else, life comes at you and there are things to overcome. How do you always get to the state where you are so joyful on that floor and can reproduce that every single time? So. I, I think that for me, I push myself like it's it will be last one. So you know, for me, it's like I every time push myself that I need to relax, enjoy the music, and yeah, enjoy the music with my dance. You know. <laughs> I don't know. For me, I think personally, we always was like this, super energetic. You know, like joyful, playful. It's always was there. The second thing was educate yourself and your body to dance, you know, to be full on in your body, technique, yeah. you know, partnership, rhythm, timing, speed, those stuff. But the main thing, you know, your core is always like this. So for us, the main idea is to, you know, get rid of those unnecessary things, focus, you know, we practice in the ballroom, we practice on the technique, this and that, but when you go on the floor, it just full on. Go, enjoy, no you know, what, yeah, you, just you need cannot to go. do, yeah. You, you cannot do better than you practice, so just try to enjoy it. Just thing. do it. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> nice. So for, for a younger generation, obviously every couple has their style. Yeah. And yes. what what would you define yourself as that is your particular style and this is what you would bring to the warm dance world as your contribution? Be honest with yourself when you dance. I think, again, for us it's kind of mixed from the past and nowadays we always like when couples dance you know more playful and joyful and very clear role of man and a woman together they enjoy dancing together the main idea and the third part it's an audience of course but the main thing is dancing together so for us we try to bring this joy and playfulness you know of dancing together enjoying music together you know the rhythm the speed the power this is and of course, connected with the audience. If it's only your private party, it's cool, of course, you know, but people, okay, don't touch them, they enjoy by themselves, you know, but we always want to share with the yeah. audience, and this is for us, this is the main thing what we want to bring on the floor. Well, you know, I'm sure you need to get ready, so I don't want to keep you any longer, but I wish you the best of luck, and uh, bring it out there, and it's going to be a joy to watch you guys. Yes. Looking forward. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you for coming here uh, backstage. Uh, first round, second round, 
I saw you couple, a couple of competitions back. I cannot hold my emotion and say that you guys got stronger, bigger. I don't know. It's so, it's so, it's so cool to watch you. What, how it is today for you? <laughs> no, I did. I, no, you slim down. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get smaller. No, actually, I don't know. You said first round, second round for us. It's the third competition, including Pro Am, uh, fourth competition in 10 days. Five flights, four comps. Um, it's been a lot of rounds. So I think I just like in this uh, carry on mood, uh, keep going mood. Uh, and it's good that uh, Nationals has been you know, the highlight point of it. Uh, what about you, Asta? Just personally for you. I know he speaks for the couple always, but I want. <laughs> But I want true Asta, how it is how it is for you, all the traveling, all the first round, second round. No, it's um, I mean it's it's the what it is, you know, it's how it was before as well. It's just we didn't do it for a while. So it's a bit of a you know, wake up call, like okay. It doesn't look back. like it. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> no, I mean we um, we we That's worked a lot, we prepared, you know. Like yeah. <laughs> We we're just sharing you the secrets where we really feel, you know? <laughs> but, you know, it's not easy. It's, and, you know, it doesn't get any easier. And, of course you not. know, no. we, we try to push and... But that's, but that's what we all love to see. And this is what I, I admire you. Like, I look at you now and even so, you, you're saying it's a fifth pump, but it's just so awesome to watch, you know? Any goals for tonight? Anything you wanted to deliver on the floor? How you want to be perceived? Just dance the best. We can but what is the best for you? Okay. Um, I mean, it's too late to to go into details with anything now. Now you just have to give up everything you have on the inside and and just try to enjoy the music, the audience, and feed off the energy and give something to people. Right. Okay, please. In, not for, for the in what dance? <laughs> in rumble. <laughs> okay, guys. Any uh, any inspirational like like thing for the younger generation? You know, because I know that the that the younger kids are crazy about Andre, like... Yeah, I, I do actually have, like, come and watch us dance. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really see many of you coming and watching professional dancers. And we'll come uh, watch unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. But um, I remember, like, even when we were growing up and uh, watching older guys dancing and remember how it's easy, actually, to fill out the room with uh, young dancers and create amazing atmosphere because kids usually don't hold back and they're really cheerful couples they, they like. So I think, yeah, you can just come uh, more often and watch the professionals for the amateurs dance the older guys I think you would older get inspired the older us became older guys ah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's today I guess it feels like so yeah if, if, I think that that would be okay. one way you don't look like old guys on the floor okay so I love you guys okay this is the United States Dance Championship we're gonna go into more insights and, and interviews and I just caught them between rounds. They're all still moving and grooving, getting ready for the next heat. How was your first round? It was great, like first like, but like, like first, first round. round. I think every dancer understands that it is the first round and you okay. can win. It doesn't matter how much you get it ready, preparation. First round is the first round, you know? Agree. <laughs> Agree. Now for you, we had some life changes in the last couple of years. You moved to Florida, you have your own studio. Oh, yeah. Your little family with little Boomer, the little doggy. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> oh, perfect. <We're> <laughs> and uh, so, how is your life right now? How do you practice? How did you prepare for this day today? I mean, it's been, I think, pretty tough for us since we moved to Florida. We open up our studio. Actually, now we moved to a bigger no, place. No, mention that. <laughs> open up the studio, Corona hits. I'm like, whoa, that was a perfect timing. You know, now Corona got away, people got back to dancing and more than even before, I think, you know, everyone's so hungry. And we opened up a bigger studio because now we, you know, need more place, more people. But that is really exciting yeah, yeah. to hear, to come back bigger than that. It's exactly. really exciting exactly. that it goes well for Somebody you guys. Stronger, right? well, you know. And you're having a studio and that defies everybody who says you cannot own a studio plus dance. Yes, you can. Look at you two guys. 
trying to keep it up. It's been tough because you have to and practice and teach and have a business and yes, it's been tough but we're trying to manage it and we'll see tonight how it's, how it's happening. How it pays off, you know, we'll see, we'll see. But we're trying to do rounds and stuff, you know, keep it motivating our students, you know, like ourselves, you know, surround people, surround ourselves with dancers, you know, like make this like dance sport wide. And what is important for you to give your students? What's your philosophy? If I come to your studio, what do you think will be the edge that you have why I should come to you? I think I, I, I'm a specialist, you know, I, I show people what the music is, how to hear it, how to listen, you know, how to move their body and then they're free to go, you know, so I feel, I feel it's the same like I do. I hear it, I know, you know, my steps and then I'm, you know, I take off, I'm free. So that's what I'm trying to, you know, like, give my students, not do like this, like that, like that very program. You're free to go, you know, free soul, so enjoy the dancing. Yeah, having a freedom in dancing, but at the same time have their own uh, style, have their own thing. Even for students, I think it's very important. Now, talking about your own style, who made you dress, because what's fascinating to me is that it's really three-dimensional. I don't know if you can see that from here, but this is like a 3D dress. Was that your idea or who, who makes your dresses? Uh, it's uh, Dore, Dore Designs made it, but it was both of us, uh, I think, designing Don and me. So I think it, we are very thankful for our new sponsors, actually, Dore Designs. So we are the really, one, really, the really the thankful industry. to them. All right, I won't keep you any longer. I know you need to get ready for your next round. Thank you so much for spending time with me and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank Enjoy. you for having us. Thank you. So we are with these two and we're doing a TikTok. So yes. I have no idea what I'm supposed you to do. You decide. No, me either. I, I don't know which. Uh, Whatever you want. I'm actually going to end up on TikTok. <laughs> something and I say something stupid up here but I'm so over it by now you have no idea no, no, I'm so over it by now so no talking about the dancing you're always in like a, a mood that can shred up the whole place basically how do you do that is that a life philosophy is that your personality how do you do that that you're in such an energetic positive mood all the time I see you so if I can answer yeah. then you continue so basically all the time we do competition we don't think about like the actual competition but we are thinking about you know like having fun entertaining the people having fun ourselves you know so the the preparation for the competition is basically the practice but in here I don't want to show you know like nervous or anything I just want to go have fun dance my way hopefully you like it <laughs> Yeah, for, us, for me it's the same, like I want to enjoy the time with him, make sure everybody clap, have fun, and yeah. that's it. Well, that's a winning combination for the both of you guys so far, and you know, people enjoy your dancing particularly because of you have the edge at that. So how was your first round? So what I can say is like, uh, of course we can do always better, so we will try now the next round to be better, but we will try to push all the time <laughs> yeah. and have much more fun. First round for some reason for us is always like not the best yeah. uh, because we are kind of like, Nobody. yeah, it's like, yeah. I guess, you know, but I like the the more I go, the more I have fun yeah. and like my body, just my energy keeps building. Like the more I use the energy, the more I have energy. So for people some reason. take energy from different sources. What is it for you? Is it the music that gets you going? Is it the people around you? Is it each other? What is it? each other mainly and then yes. when, when you hear the people screaming your name it's always like I that mean, is unbelievable there's nothing better than that yeah like, go you get excited you know yeah. of course 
So I wish you all the best. I know you need to get ready for the next round. Thank and you so much. Guys, you gotta scream for the both of you yes. if you wanna see their best. You're gonna get everything back that you invest screaming wise, I promise. Thank Good luck you. to you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, you. have fun and have we a fabulous will. night. We will. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, here we go. United States National Professional International Latin Championships semifinals. Here we go.
look fabulous. Thank you. Boy, coming from you, that's a big compliment. Oh, no. It's the real truth. That's no matter. Oh, <laughs> He's charming as well, but... I what? work all day with women. I, I know how to be charming. Oh, he has figured <laughs> us out. Look at that. <laughs> I wow. see, I see. Oh, but, but on a serious note, you're responsible really for a lot of the looks nowadays of the dancers, of everybody. I can't, you started that, really. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that happened, how you got into making how ladies that, beautiful. How that happened. It's a very long story, but let's say I was enough lucky to get the trust uh, and uh, to be able to show my vision and how I always say to my clients every day to keep practicing on them, keep creating and uh, to be part of this industry. It's just, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just blessed. But how do you get it inspired? Because, you know, somebody comes and they would like to get a new hairstyle and you have to have a vision in the minute because, you know, I would look at you, it's like Boyko. What can I change? What can I do? You look at me and within two seconds you have an idea. I don't know, is it two seconds? But I'm trying to be fast. Yes. I mean, like, honestly, it's, uh, I always say, this is the, one of the most questions which I'm getting, you know, most uh, often getting questions. It's like, the dancer is clear. The person inspired me. The dancer inspired me. Their mood inspired me. Um, I mean, I can be very different inspiration, but when I talk to people, I'm trying to feel them. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they're going to create, maybe it's going to be the most beautiful thing. If they don't know how to present it or they don't feel it, it doesn't matter. So that's why I'm always trying to talk to them and get from them as much as I can so I can give it back. So for me, it's like inspiration is two sides, both ways. It's a two-way street. So to know what's kind of nowadays on trend or fashionable or moving forward into uh, what has to be new, do you watch other kinds of designers, do you watch fashion, music, um, art, what is your inspiration? Everything, everything can be inspiration, even if we go back in time, mm -hmm. because I believe there is nothing what never been done. Mm -hmm. So we have to just bring it in a new presentation, new level. So sometimes even retro movie can inspire I me. Mean, like we know the dancing, even the costumes, you know, sometimes we inspire, inspire from the past, so not only from the future. So I'm trying to balance between this and this. I know we have a big plan. One day we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna make a fashion police for ballroom dancing. But shh. I'm not sure people are ready to handle that. But I know we are coming soon. But if we do that, it's gonna be epic. Absolutely. I know. Absolutely. So well, I know your wife Alexandra is judging, and uh, she's wearing a gorgeous big tulle gown. Is that your idea, or does she have her own mind? Uh, she have her mind, but we sometimes work together in that. So I help a little bit with that, a little bit. Well, she's a lucky, lucky lady to have such a wonderful husband. Uh, I think it's again two-way street. I'm a lucky <laughs> man to have her. <laughs> well, that's a very wise answer. Isn't he all smart and figured out with us? <laughs> you will make it in life. I'm just I, letting I'm you know. I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for spending time with me. It was lovely always. to talk to you as always. Absolutely. And rock on. On the backstage right here, I'm, I'm here with Nikolai Varonovich. Man, thank you for coming. Thank you, Dima. Thank you for having me again. It's a pleasure. So, how was it for you here? And uh, you know, just just watching the first round, watching United States, and, and, and first of all, dancing too. You were dancing the the program whole week. Not the uh, week so far, it's a great experience. It's a the interesting thing, we first time we attended was 10 years ago and I remember this show of previous champions 10 years ago when it was 40th anniversary and uh, it's like wow, okay, 10 year passed and I, I felt like I must be here and it was... This is awesome actually. Yeah, there was... Uh, yesterday we danced with pro -Am with yeah. my student Deborah Wright who happened to win both of your national okay. and open Not the happen. world. Why are we saying happen to win? Why it happen to win? We okay. don't, I mean, you, you as, as a professional, you don't really believe in chance like that, right? No, it's not, not a chance. You, you are right here to say that it's, it's a result of hard work and like... I mean, a little bit, of, like obviously, a little bit of, a little bit of the luck, right? Uh, yes, that, that's all. We all need it at, at the right moment, but the majority of it is a hard work and dedication and 
consistency. And I, I must say, I'm really grateful for the atmosphere, for this whole uh, thing here at the event, how special it is that there is a right, like right energy for the dancers to, to be bringing their best dance, the music, the light, the, the crowd, it, it's all here. That's awesome, man. Um, okay, whom are you cheering for tonight? Because uh, it's uh, it took, like it's such an interesting night. I mean. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'm cheering here, my dear friends Tihan and Yana. Okay. They're they're longtime friends. They're beautiful people. We were working with them together, and I think they are dancing beautifully today. I'm 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 keeping my fingers crossed for their final. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah, you know them too. The, the guy who who jumping on the surfboard uh, in on the, the oh, ocean yeah, on and the on emerald the, commercial. An emerald commercial, Tegan <laughs> yeah. is jumping with the surfboard yes. uh, into the ocean. Yeah. And of course, it is interesting how uh, Latin will 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 be happening today. Everybody's. Yeah, we, have, we have we have a spot open. Yeah. We have an open spot, and and uh, all the leaders are. I think there is a lot of maybe is there in the final between who will be higher or lower and uh, I'm very curious to see how it will happen. I, uh, okay, yeah, look, I, I'm thinking Misha and Nastya, they dancing just beautifully today. I, my, my vote goes for them tonight. I, I'm, I saw the first round already and I'm very impressed of what they offering. I'm hoping they could keep the same clarity and energy in the final. No, obviously. We, we are looking forward to see the finals too. Yeah. So, man, enjoy the watch the competition. Thank you. It's an amazing atmosphere right here at 50th anniversary. I'm here with Nikolai and we're going to go watch the comp. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special guest joining me right now, Mr. Winning. It's the 50th year of United States Dance Championships and I have the honor to interview you here. You had a very busy week. Tell me everything about it. It's been a fabulous week. Um, it's everything I envisioned. All the ch former champions are here on the one roof. I mean, what a sight to see. Every night we have special presentations of the champions. But what fabulous dancing since 2019. Obviously, we didn't run in 2020. And I am very excited to have this event. Now, I knew that the dance world would come back strong after the pandemic, but that it would be that strong, even I am surprised. And I'm here since the beginning of the week, and I have been watching all the events, and it's just been fantastic and the organization has been just phenomenal. It seems to me everything went perfect this year. How did you get there? I get there with my team. I have a fabulous staff. From the on deck to the MC, to the chairman, to the scrutineers, to the front desk, to the back office. And they're just doing the job for me. So I'm blessed to have a great staff. Now you are the recipient of the John Monte Award this year and uh, congratulations to you and also that's kind of a, a coming around for everything for you and I would like to know based on all the success you're having with these championships and your award where you're going to lead us in the future. We are looking to expand, expand globally mm -hmm. which means that um, we're going to promote Pro-Am to the rest of the world and have them come to the United States and be the largest pro-am competition in the world here at the U.S. Championship. Now, for the first time this year, we have the Amateur Close Championship that's usually held in Provo, Utah. But because of the COVID, it came, it was moved here for this year. But we're talking about the possibility of keeping it here at the United States Championship under one roof. You can see the energy that was in the amateur um, ballroom. All yeah, it was through the roof. I mean, everybody was here. And then, it, you know, you, you, you wouldn't know where to go because there was highlight after highlight in this forum, in the big forum. But then it was so much energy from the amateurs. It's always lovely to see. So everything's going to be in one house. 
That's correct. We just want to make sure we have all the ballrooms to accommodate yes. people. As you know, our main ballroom here is 35,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. The other ballroom, we like to make it larger for the amateurs and really have a week of um, best quality dancing that we can bring to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the future is looking absolutely bright and I cannot wait for next year's United States Dance Championships. Thank you so much, Mr. Wayne Ang, for taking the time out of your busy evening to join me here. And all the success in the world to you and this beautiful competition and United States Dance Championships per se. Thank you very much. I think definitely is what I learned from my parents uh, whenever they were bringing me up to um, admire other people's beauty without questioning my own. And I think that that's very valid for the ballroom dancing because there's so much skill and talent around and you get wowed about um, how big potential and how much beauty there is. What inspires me very much comes down to the, to the moment that I'm in right now. And I think that you automatically search for things that help you in this situation. So um, one thing that I very much relate to is uh, pressure is a privilege. And I'm lucky to have this pressure whenever you think that it's a lot. It again is just to be, this is exactly where I want to be. Bring it some more, bring it some more. Well, the classic things, of course, is get myself completely in the zone, get my shoes ready, my mind ready, but also very connected to my breath. For me, it's very important so I can uh, really be in one body, mind and soul. Because we have such a busy schedule, traveling, constantly performing, constantly being on, I just remembered Michael Jordan saying that what motivated him was that there might be one person in that audience that sees me for the first time and I don't want to disappoint that person. There is no usual, I think, in anything of what we do. Uh, there's for sure an excitement and a great deal of focus right before we're on and also as we are dancing and then once we're there is just a pure celebration. Welcome to United States Dance Championship. That's our 50th anniversary. And it's our best year yet, Martin. We've been together since 2005. Yeah. 16 wow. great years. So I'm gonna open a bottle of champagne here to celebrate our 50th anniversary. Good. And here we go. Um, whoa, oh, happy oh, anniversary. Oh. <laughs> whoa, and I caught it. Oh. Friendship, good health. Yes. For another 50. Yes, we're going to live for another right. 50. Yes, yes, I like that. <laughs>
final. Here we go.
waiting to watch the competition, please do not block the view of the people that are sitting in the risers. You need to find somewhere else to stand, and it is not two steps to the left or two steps to the right. You need to decide to find another side. Thank you. Here we go.
And the place is held once again. Come on,
Congratulations to you. How was it tonight? It was wonderful. Obviously, we have had a very, very special and intense uh, past 10 days, actually. And it was just another opportunity for us to go out there, share what we totally love with um, the people that we feel very at home with. We feel so welcome and so at home in the United States. So it's an honor to uh, receive this recognition. It's our first title, so we're thrilled about it. No, it was a great evening. You feel the energy. It's the 50th anniversary, and it's just you can feel that it's a, it's a special night, and uh, it's just it's really a pleasure to, to dance here at home. But you know, I also feel I know you just won Black Bull. Congratulations you. to you. That's a major, major, major event in your life, and you know you have to you have to have had that special energy out on the floor. It, it needs to be still close to your heart, and to bring that to United States Championships, and then you win that title. It's just. I feel it's a great time in your life right now and I just want for everybody to be part of it so I want you to share how that feels to win Blackpool I know there's a lot of things going on you know flying over there adjusting practicing training but let us be a part of it, a little bit what goes on in the heart well you know this is this is years in the making and and we have been we have been sharing this journey with the two of us and everyone around us and this is just like 
the, it's a dream come true, really. And and the the the, the everything leading up to it, the hard work, the stress, the sure. focus, the sacrifice, or just doing what we love for so long. It's just, it's still unreal that we actually managed to do it, even though you, when you're so close, you, you, you want it more than ever. Yes. But still, when you then get it, it's just, it's still unreal that we actually managed to do yeah. it. And it's, it, we're so blessed and so happy and so inspired and motivated to actually yes. just go out and share even more. Absolutely. I mean, we're elated from the experience, the moment it happened, the day after, still, you know, and the love we've received yeah, from exactly. all around the world. It's so tremendous when uh, fellow competitors come over and congratulate you wholeheartedly and sincerely. It's just such an amazing feeling. People that have been on that floor, dance that competition, know how it feels to be under that kind of pressure, which as Troll says, it's privileged to be under that kind of pressure uh, right now, but we are so ready to handle it the best possible way and to keep going and keep doing what we love so much because we have so much in us um, still to go. Yeah, exactly. And we are so thrilled about this opportunity. Yeah. So for for anybody, may it be pro and may, may it be somebody who's really young and is just starting the journey, I know a big win is based on a lot of wins and losses and uh, you know, it, there's a big iceberg and that's just the tip of it and there's a lot underneath. What advice can you give to anybody who is in our beautiful dance world who is on that journey and uh, you know aspires to be just like you or on their personal journey it's hard to give one advice because if you think back on it there's so many kind of key moments that 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 made it um, but again I just actually really know that it is possible and and keep keep if you if that's what your dream is find a way and 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 whenever it's hard dig into the love for what you're doing and your belief and and seek for that inspiration and in whatever or whoever gives you that inspiration go for it and you never know what's just around the corner it can be the darkest hour and just around the corner if you just continue it a bit more and a bit more just that one that's, extra step that's, that's when and, and that's always right. believe that it's just around the corner and as well remember you don't do this on your own it's the two of you that really do it and you have the best teammate beside you so if you're not feeling it that day in particular there's someone over here that is gonna keep your feet on the ground and give you wings to fly so we you can support each other and make your dreams come true well, that's wonderful advice. Thank you so much. You. Is there anybody you want to say thank you to uh, before we, we're going to let you go and celebrate? Well, I think that, uh, again, uh, the, the first persons that comes into our mind is our parents. Yes. It's just they have, they have getting both, emotional just both, thinking about uh, both that. my parents and Ina's parents have been so supportive the whole way through. And that's just the, the biggest support that, that, can, yes. that one can have. And, and we have been lucky to have a, a team of teachers from when we were very young as well that has helped us to develop and guide us in the right, right direction. And, and that's an advice as well. Trust those people that you... And, and yeah, don't be afraid to make mistakes, but also trust the people that you have around you and, and know, know, know that they want you the best. As well. 100%. Yeah, I mean, there's very little to add to that. And thank you to everybody that is following yeah. us and supporting us all the way through. We feel you, we hear you, you know, we know you're with us and we dance together with you always. And I must say as well, this is not just another time. I mean, dancing Blackpool and then dancing the national. It is very, very dear to us to yes. actually have moved to the States and felt at home as much and now being the national champions it means a lot and we just read the names on the on the trophy as well the, the legends and the great dancers that has tributed so much to this industry and being part of that club now is is definitely an honor sure well congratulations to you guys again and thank you so much for joining me um, we're gonna see much more of you I'm excited for what's next and have a wonderful evening have a wonderful celebration and Enjoy everything you just achieved.
И пусть душа, как старый стоктанный башмак Но я делаю то, на что у других танка кишка Хапану лишка, прилягу на шканарь За окном качается луна, как китайский фонарь А это гулять по параллельным мирам Делись добром, и оно вернется к тебе, как бумеранг Мне без музыки никак гулять